Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you very much for to having me here. Um, I'm going to talk about Wave Surfer for audio notation in R. Uh, a little bit my, about myself. I'm working, I'm currently working on my master's on the theme automatic bird species recognition based on their songs. And to tackle this problem, I chose uh, supervised machine learning, of course. And to do so, I needed uh, label data. Uh, one can split a machine learning project workflow in these three parts, uh, data extraction, data annotation, and modeling. And I think that we are pretty well served in terms of tools in the data extraction and modeling. We have Warbler, which is an outstanding package for uh, bioacoustics. You have all the Tideverse ecosystem, Keras, TensorFlow, everything. But I had a really hard time labeling my data in R, uh, annotating. So WaveSurfer was a, an attempt to uh, bridge this gap. Okay, what is, uh, I think there's a missing image here, but what is WaveSurfer? It's, just, it's the JavaScript library to, for making beautiful audio visualizations for the web, and it also has a rich set of plugins to work with so it's pretty cool and active in the community. Uh, here's, what I did is was just an HTML widget for this library, which has this pipeable API. And I also implemented the plugins. Uh, the most important one, which would make me choose this library, was the annotator or the region plugin, which allows you to draw out some areas on your audio re representation and also label it, so it's perfect for the task, right? This square, this uh, yellow region is an example of the annotation. Uh, another cool feature is that you can uh, visualize spectrogram instead of the sound waves, which is important for us in this task. Uh, one cool thing is that this representation is not available in the original JS. I tweak it a little bit in this part. It's cool but dangerous because I'm not very skilled in the JavaScript coding. Uh, but this is the API. What, what I would like to, to highlight now is the annotator app, which uh, provides to anyone, to the researchers, to uh, start annotating the, their own audios right away without knowing uh, shiny and stuff. Uh, this requires just to inputs the path to the wave files folder and the path to the, the, where you want to store the annotated annotations. And it is what it lo looks like. I'm going to zoom in some key parts. Here is the main part of the, the app. It is where you, you're going to uh, do the actual annotation with the point and click, resize, drag and drop and stuff. This is the, the widget itself. Here's some metadata, where is the, the, the folders and some switches like bigger spectrogram or auto saving. This is the standard controllers of any media player. This table is, is a, uh, where you, you can navigate through your uh, wave files and you can select uh, the file you want to annotate and also you tell us if, whether the audio was uh, annotated already or not. The green is the, are the annota annotated audios. Here's just the feedback of what you're going to store to use it later on. And this finally is the, what I call the region suggester. It's a cool feature to, uh, that will draw for you automatically regions that it thinks is a, the event that you are looking for. So it's pretty make your life easier and your job quicker. Some pros and cons, the, I want, would like to hi highlight the, the fact that you can put it on the cloud and make this uh, laborious part of the job collaborative, so it's, uh, it can scale your uh, job pretty much. And this is it, thank you very much. This is a work in progress, so here, reach me out in GitHub, and thank you very much.